All right, here over this last few weeks or maybe this month, I think they have started recognizing natural immunity. You know what's so strange about it? Even CNN, after I'll say 19 months, actually asked Dr. Fauci about uh, natural immunities on their uh, station. It was kind of strange. And uh, I'm gonna let you, even some uh, hospitals in Michigan are exempting, are giving uh, workers with natural immunity exemption from getting a vaccination. Because you've seen the studies there in Israel, it's, it's showing that even the, the natural immunity is str as strong or even stronger than the vaccines. So I'm gonna let you listen to some of this. We'll watch some of it together and uh, you tell me what you think. Michigan Hospital exempts workers with natural immunity from vaccine mandate. Spectrum Health has become the first major hospital system in Michigan to allow employees with natural immunity to be temporarily exempted from the vaccine mandate. The West Michigan Health System granted the exemption after new research emerged on natural immunity. Spectrum Health said in the statement, while we still recommend vaccination for people with prior COVID-19 infection, according to this new research, there is increasing evidence that natural infection affords protection from COVID-19 reinfection and severe symptoms for a period of time. And they getting this research out of Israel, and I think the United States is going to start doing more research now because they are focusing and going to be paying attention to people that has natural immunities, that have tested positive and can show proof of antibodies in their blood tests. Current studies are not clear on how long natural immunity protects from reinfection. The health system said it would update the policy in the future if there is evidence showing naturally acquired protection is waning or longer lasting or if there is a validated antibody test result showing immunity. In its statement, Spectrum said that those exemptions include religious exemptions and medical exemptions determined by a medical exemption committee. The system's medical exemption committee recommended a temporary exemption for individuals who can prove they have naturally acquired immunity to COVID-19 based on available research. In Detroit, some other hospital systems, such as Henry Ford Health System, Beaumont Health, and Trinity Heath, Michigan, have mandated COVID-19 vaccine for their employees with no exemptions. I think they're gonna jump on board. I think a lot of hospitals and a lot of employers are gonna jump on board with this natural immunity because a lot of people are stepping away from their jobs because especially if you got natural immunities and you know it's as good as the vaccine. So if they're mandating people to take vaccinations and you're gonna see a lot of people walking away from their jobs. According to the Detroit News, Spectrum Health is in the process of merging with Beaumont Health. The two health systems have signed a formal integration agreement earlier this month and expect to launch a new system this fall. Now this was strange. CNN, um, Fauci was asked a question about um, natural immunities. And CNN, I don't think they have never mentioned it, asked Fauci anything about natural immunities after 19, 20 months, almost two years. But now they're asking a question because they're getting asked the questions. Check this out. And just, and just real quickly, um, there was a study that came out of Israel about natural immunity. And basically the headline was that natural immunity provides a lot of protection, even better than the vaccines alone. Um, how, what, do, what are people to make of that? So, so as we talk about vaccine mandates, there are, I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID. I'm protected, and now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone. Should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? Hmm. You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really firm answer for you on that. That's some <laughs> After all these months and years, and you still don't have an answer to that, I thought he was the man with all the answers. But anyway, I will continue. That we're going to have to discuss regarding the durability of the response. The one thing the paper from Israel didn't tell you is whether or not as high as the protection is with natural infection, what's the durability compared to the durability of a vaccine? So it is conceivable that you got infected, you're protected, but you may not be protected for an indefinite period of time. So I think that is something that we need to sit down and discuss seriously because you very appropriately pointed out it is an issue and there could be an argument for saying what you said. 
Now, this guy right here, he asked Fauci the same question on his station. This, F, I think this uh, aired after CNN. But uh, Fauci is going to give pretty much the same answer, but I'll let you listen to it. About this, too, we're seeing some things about natural immunity and some discussion around that. What are we seeing when it comes to that? We have some people say, well, I've had it, so maybe I don't need the vaccine. So I just want to get your perspective on that. Well, if you've been infected and you recover from the infection, you are certainly going to have a degree of protection. There's no doubt about that. What we don't know very well. Here we go. Is how long the infection or how long the immunity is going to last. Uh, he said it on CNN. That's something that's ingrained in his head. I'm pretty sure he's going to keep saying it and saying it, but I, I'll go ahead and continue. What the durability of that is and how long that lasts. But I think it would be uh, important to admit to truth that you will have some protection. It could be really good protection for a while following infection. We do know that when you give someone a vaccination, after they've recovered from infection and superimpose that upon their natural acquired immunity, you can dramatically increase the level of protection. So he's saying if you already had COVID and you get the vaccine, you're going to be like a, a superhuman immunity. That's what they call it, <laughs> superhuman immunity or hybrid. But I'll let you uh, listen to this right here. It's being dubbed superhuman immunity. New research shows some people may have a significantly higher level of immunity to COVID-19 that could even protect them from future pandemics. Scientists studied individuals who have recovered from the virus and then later received an mRNA vaccine such as Pfizer or Moderna. What they found was that protection against the disease and its variants was higher than immunity conferred by either infection alone or vaccine alone. Paul Beanash is a virologist at the Rockefeller University. He prefers the term hybrid rather than superhuman immunity. Okay, he preferred the word hybrid. I'm going to let you listen to a little bit of this, and I'll let you guys continue the rest of your day. Uh, I have to go to the college and uh, teach a welding class here in a few minutes. This is a phenomenon that, that we and others have uncovered in people who were infected by SARS-CoV-2 uh, early in the pandemic. And then some months later, when vaccines became available, or they were vaccinated, their antibodies were not only capable of neutralizing all of the SARS-CoV-2 variants that we have seen thus far, they're also capable of neutralizing viruses that are very much more diverse, including uh, the original SARS coronavirus, which is really quite different to the current ones. Viruses that are currently circulating in bats and pangolins. All right, uh, we'll cut this short and uh, thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.